Hello friends, welcome to my channel, The Right Direction. Now I am going to speak about the topic, the sustainable development. What is that sustainable development? First of all, we know that UNA had made some rules and regulation and also declared declare the decade or the year that sustainable development starts from the year from 2016 to 2030 among these you know two concepts one is inclusive one is sustainable what is inclusive and what is sustainable that means we the human being always want to live in a better life we always want to live the best and to achieve the best for this purpose we are making certain rules and regulations how to achieve though we are making the targets that's why UNO also making or giving the target that you should achieve all this and one is inclusive and sustainable inclusive means for instance development stands the last man standing on on the row that means standing on the row the last man if the development must reach tartha garib to garib ta pakhare bi sarkaran kar yojana jemti sahaj sulabh mulya re pahunchi pare that will be affordable and that will be payable these things is done by the government and we are bounded with the rules and regulations of the uno and also the government of india so from the very beginning we are making that new india as you know general uh, the previous president of uh, America, Australia, America first, America first in his speech. For this purpose, we are telling India first, India first, India first. Time will come, we will make certain things. And that is known as Agenda 21 in the 21st century. And giving what? The message, people first. Put people first. That means we should develop. We should uh, energize, we should influence, we should enhance the willpower, the strength, the knowledge. That means overall de the development. If we think about the alpha and omega of all these things, uh, we want for every field development, development and development. That's why we are making some plans, programs, and strategies. Plan, program, strategies, they are good. How to achieve? Suppose you are preparing for examination. When you are preparing for examination, you make certain labors, you give some effort. How to achieve the good marks? That's why here this concept sustainable development comes from the Birkland report first coined in 1972. And you know it is also about the United Nations Confer Conference of Human Environment at Stockholm and also in Rio de Janeiro 1920. Everywhere you can see all these things, Rio de Janeiro conference, that's why. And what is the thing of that goal? How we are achieving, trying to achieve this goal in which field? And what are the efforts, what are the essential things of us required to attain economic development? That means first you know, that means every field, if you achieve the wealth you have or you if you are if you are if economically strong you are powerful you have the power you have the prestige you have everything so for this purpose this type of development deals with not only one but also all it can be so much thing or development number we are giving so much importance and what is that that transferring our world the reason that 230 for sustainable development as you know that your prime minister is telling sabka shat sabka vikas and sabka viswas that means everywhere as you have also known about the gandhiji's principle that is swarajya sarvodaya sodesi these are the principle how in this way we can achieve these things and remember as it is our Niti Aiva, National Institute of Transforming India is always working. This is the think tank. It has some vision, it has some mission, how to reach, how we will achieve the success in uh, 2020. Then we will tell that 
we are the Indians and for where everything is possible. There is nothing impossible. From the very beginning, in this whole, whatever happened in this development goal, there are 169 targets, but that is 17 goals. The government is working. That means something is better than nothing. Not, nothing. So that's why here it is telling and what are the goals? First is no poverty. That means we know that we are living in a country which is developing, not developed. So for this purpose, we are working on how to eradicate poverty. So in order to eradicate poverty, the government is doing certain works just like your Annapurna, Antadaya, Midday Meal Scheme and how to improve the standard of living or also giving uh, some of the remuneration to the people, those who are weaker section, everything has been given, some of the yojana, some of the programs and policies are made for the people in which way they will overcome their poverty. Unless we, we should not overcome our poverty, so definitely we will face the problem in future. Then another is zero hunger. Till today, our policy is zero hunger everywhere. That means for this purpose, you know, midday meal and everywhere you are uh, just like uh, any kind of meal, some of the organizations, some of the NGOs are providing how to make people hunger free. Hunger free this, that means everybody is uh, thinking about his uh, how to fulfill his needs. So some of the uh, policies and the government is also providing food for work and every kind of work program in which way people can get their hand to mouth problem solved, solve their mouth pro hand to mouth problem in which way that definitely arises the problem in which way there will be hunger will arises. So for this purpose we are also try to improve, increase agricultural product in anywhere and using most of the technology how to improve and how to free our people from, from hunger and uh, we are also working on this principle and most of the countries also following and we are also wanted to give nutrition to the child definitely you know some anganwadi or anywhere else they were providing such and such things and also nutrition to the mother most of the yajanas has been made by the government to uh, eradicate this then another is good health and well-being definitely now everywhere you find that is endemic pandemic and everywhere such things and how to make our wealth in order to make us healthy and wealthy we our government is providing uh, some of the insurance policies yeah, like uh, pm health card everywhere and also providing um, the medicine with affordable rate like uh, Niramaya and any that Janavishwadi, such things in order to make people healthy and wealthy and disease free. Then quality education. You know, education is the backbone through which the country run. So for this purpose, our government is taking certain steps in order to make the people skill. That's why skill India, digital India, start up, stand up and finally we are introducing the new education policy 2021. So for this purpose and except that we know how to enroll uh, the Atlans and how to improve the stand up teaching. That's why we are doing certain works. The organizations like Ramsa, Rusa, the UGC, AICT, they are working on this how to provide the quality education except that we are giving free and compulsory education to the people from 6 to 14 years it is free to all anyone can offer then another is gender equality we are also working that there is no discrimination between gender that is male and female so for this purpose we are working uh, most of the programs most of the yojana for the empowerment of your man that means in Panchayat election in Panchayat we are giving 50% reserve reservation to women for which they can contest and except that we are also giving uh, reservation to them in job job uh, in job 
and anywhere else we are also giving so much priority to the women how to improve their standard of living and how there is uh, they will be uh, feel that there is no discrimination in their in our country then another is clean water and sanitation so this is the program made by the government of india through the yojana that is known as amrut yojana for which we are making the plan and program that in 2024 we will provide the clean water to everybody and except that sanitation everywhere there is toilet has been provided so for this purpose we see that everywhere most of the areas are open defection free now they were using the toilets for their safety then another is affordable and clean energy that means whatever the energy we are using during that time if you compare with the past now we are getting so much we are also using the energy electricity and every kind of things with affordable rate with preferable rate and that's why the energy we should be eco friendly not uh, uh, creates any kinds of destruction or devastating towards the environment we always want that must be eco friendly and also affordable and everywhere the people can uh, get the benefit of that then decent work and economic growth that means we should work for what for the economic growth of our nation of ourselves also our nation one theory is is a trickle down theory that it refers to when you construct an industry in an area and there is 50 or 60 kilometers there must be development development definitely comes because it will create employment generation it will enhance our uh, standard of living it will also improves our uh, financial standard ki kon karu amar economic standard ba amar arthik paristhiti oti sahajare sudhari pakhe chesta kare only the industrial worker is not but those who are on the site near it in the periphery they were also getting benefited so for this purpose we are try to make in development our tourism sector then industry innovation and infrastructure we are also working on this principle industry and we are making some of the innovation and infrastructure suppose we uh, time will come now we know our 2030 we will use the vehicles which is totally smoke free smokeless that means it is run by electricity so for this purpose what happen there there will be no pollution less pollution and we will take healthy air for our breathing and uh, industry the innovation we should make so much of things that means practice makes a uh, man perfect or uh, your unhappiness or your failure will provide you the solution how to achieve the success in this way we want to do certain things in uh, for this purpose we can achieve the progress then reduce inequalities what is inequalities that means always we we find but there is a rich and poor touchable untouchable but if you have more that means if you are skilled if you achieve all these things in every field and you should not there is no inequality if you are educated you get everything that's why the government the organization the ngos they were working how to make people uh, shrewd how to make people alert and aware to tackle the situation to face the situation that is that is the motto of the uno as also our government of india also making this principle then reduce inequalities okay then sustainable cities and commodities sustainable cities remember we are making the cities which is it are very much what polluted because of excess slums and if it is a program it will be if it is planned city it will no slum arises no such of dangerous no such of disease arises for instance dharavi dharavi in mumbai if corona happens definitely it will spread so certain things should be made in which way people will live freely and live healthy and they will be healthy forever in order to get their happiness then sustainable cities and communities responsible consumption and production one thing remember what is responsible consumption and production suppose we have more and more natural resources if we 
यूज इट कंटिन्यूसली बिकज आम गोटे जाच एक्सेस अफ यूज डेफिनेट इट विल डेस्ट्रय दिन आसव सबकि नष्ट दो वि नो दैट ह्यूमान वार्डस आर अनलिमिटेड जदि भी आम जानते ह्यूमान वार्डस आर अनलिमिटेड बट रिसोर्सेस आर लिमिटेड सो फर दिस पर्पज वी व्वांट टू यूज द रिसोर्सेस हिच विल बेनिफिट फर दिस पर्पज वी आर यूजिंग सफ्ट एंड टेक्नोलोजी हिट फर हिच वि आर रिसाइकल द अनिजेबल रिसोर्सेस फर एगेन इट विल भी आभेलेबल फर अस सो दैट्स वाय हिर हिर इट इज टेलींग रेस्पनसबल कंजपन एंड प्रडक्शन देन एंड अनादर इज Your climate change. What is climate change? We, the human being, are the maker and the breaker of our destination of our generation. What is this? That means we are oh, destroying the forest, creating the industries, not thinking about environment, not thinking about our future generation. We think for ourselves. If we will such that such things will happen, definitely it affects what global warming, acid rain. and the melting of a glacier from himalayas from arctic and antarctic circle definitely there is a danger of sign so we will use such some things that means climate change what we will basically work on afforestation and non toxic things and anything which is uh, very eco not eco friendly we should have heard these things for the benefit of our generation and we should create certain things in which way everybody will be benefited then life below water that means we are living on land and what is about life below water below some of the marine resources or marine ecosystem we also also try to give importance for their conservation or for their preservation but if you extract more and more definitely it will be alarming sound because that is the balance if you have never wanted to maintain the ecological balance or any balance definitely what happens your or your tsunami any kind of uh, things will arise natural calamities disaster definitely will arise then life on land so what is life on land we the human being are living there is the difference between animal world human world and other world living or non living or except that we know about the flora and fauna we know how to maintain a proper balance and how it will be eco friendly how it will be pollution free and that's why we will live in a proper way and peace justice and strong institution that is we always try to make it healthy and wealthy for this purpose we are making suppose we are making certain river dispute tribunal and ngt that means national green tribunal and pollution control board everywhere how to check it if the parameter rises definitely it will be dangerous sign for our human generation for this purpose we are making that isa means international solar solar alliance where we try to use the commodities which is most of the things from the power of solar use that means solar energy is the renewable source of energy for this purpose we use this and uh, peace justice and strong institution the institution is also working for this if there is crime the police the cbi the raw they were working how to eradicate how to remove how to destroy how to uh, make uh, a check or how to make the balance here they wanted to this then partnership for development sports and in order to make these things we are also making partnership that means anywhere india is a member of most of the organization international organization for environment from energy from every field try to that means if there is partnership if there is folk caring and sharing then we will reach the proper stage so what happen then how our government that means aaj i am telling that is niti ayog that is working this is not a this is the think tank that niti ayog is working on this principle how we will achieve such things for this purpose we are now telling that atmanirbhar bharat atmanirbhar bharat we are working how we will make atmanirbhar of our country in the last degree in the coming decade we will be powerful that means uh, what we are thinking akhand bharat 
then atma nirbhar bharat then swachh bharat we are also making some of the programs like swachh bharat beti bachao beti padhao in order to for your gender discrimination we are doing such and such activities and except that make in india we try to make in india that means that is the hub in our country so they see indigenous good should be made in our country so for this purpose we will make a, uh, we will become rich by selling by exporting these commodities to the outside of the world then skill india skill india that means your organization like you, in most of the institution there is the you are now recently giving about vocational education the aict nct or the iit iti and except that most of the politics techniques are taking certain steps how to make such things then skill india then digital india you know about the digital india the program is continuing so for this purpose overall we are bounding with the goal of united nations organization in 2030 then another thing will come but from this point of view we are working how to eradicate poverty how to remove disease how to make our country hunger free how to make our people skilled how to make our people healthy and how to make our people wealthy these are the principles these are the rules made by the un and we are also following this in order to reach the topmost our time will come we will tell india first india first nation first then all everything is all others so in this way i have completed about the topic sustainable development so please 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 share and subscribe and click the bell icon of my channel so that i can upload more and more videos for the development benefit and improvement of your career thank you all of you